So that the nuclear power of the first cloud is a conductor of the active force in the next cloud which it enters with a density of 2. If cloud enters with a density of 2, then oxygen and nitrogen must correspond to the densities, repeating the ratio of densities of the first cloud. In the first cloud, the ratio of densities was 1, 2, 3. It Finally, we have found it, the definitive solution to information overload. And I'm going to show you this thing of beauty. I'm the fastest reader in the world. <laughs> You'll definitely experience the capture problem every day, and that's something that I cover in this video series. But at its core, it's about how do you get this into this. There's the 55 articles that people have sent you, there's the playlist of YouTube lectures, there's that audio book, there's that particular video webinar that you need to watch, and there's that growing folder of PDFs and your Kindle list and your email subscriptions. All of this stuff that one day you'll get round to reading. But I know in my heart of hearts that when I'm overwhelmed, this happens and I just end up scrolling mindlessly on some bullshit app, even though there's lifetimes of much more valuable reading to be done on my list. But because it's so scattered, I get kind of paralyzed by choice and just drop to the lowest common denominator. I'm a man of simple pleasures and all I want is a single stream, a reading inbox of the highest priority thing to read next. So everything that I've been looking for so far is a way to kind of capture all of this stuff and put it into a funnel where I can triage and the most high priority reading material rises to the top and I can just bash them out a bit like tissues in a tissue box. That sounded a bit wrong. The other side of this capture problem, once you've got the funnel and you've been able to streamline this kind of overwhelm of inputs, is a way to highlight and for those highlights to be automatically indexed into your second brain. Normally adding that step adds a lot of friction into the process and it means that reading no longer becomes a kind of passive or pleasurable activity. You have to sit down and make time for it and there's a whole bunch of extra moving parts involved. So as a result, I ended up doing less reading than I'd like to. The type of stuff that I would end up reading would be the kind of low value junk food type content. And my highlighting process involved a really kind of convoluted system with multiple integrations, but I was lucky enough to be invited as a beta tester for something which solves this problem. And I think it does it really comprehensively. And I'm talking about Readwise and their new app, Reader, which has actually made it to the great privileged spot of this on my phone, reserved only for important apps such as phone and music. So Readwise and Reader replaces so many different moving parts I had a combination of Snipped and Air and Speech Central and Pocket and Notion and RSS readers and Speechify and Up Next and all, all these kind of things that did part of the solution, but none of them fully integrated everything. The problem with having multiple apps and things is obviously the extra steps, the lack of compatibility, and also weirdly, all of these apps seem to gravitate eventually in their development cycle to trying to thumb in this like horrible social media overlay onto your reading experience. <laughs> Luckily, uh, the founder of Readwise vibes with us on that, that reading is a solo experience. So I've been beta testing Reader for about a year now and I'm finally allowed to talk about it. And it has been a game changer. So it's reduced the friction to me reading anything. Walking has now become reading and taking notes without, without a problem. Whereas previously I'd have to keep kind of stopping and trying to um, fiddle around with getting those highlights into something else. The final step now is just whenever I finish a book in Readwise, all I have to do is add a task to Tick Tick, do a final review of the highlights that are automatically imported into my second brain. And then I just do a progressive summarization, which is just like a really high level overview of what the book's about. And then look at, okay, I've consumed that book now. How can I integrate that into a wider mental model? How do I synthesize the lessons from it and crystallize the knowledge from that book? That part of the process of kind of integrating information into your meta map is stuff that we cover in other videos on this channel. So fundamentally, what Readwise and Reader does is it captures all of these disparate bits of inputs and allows me to put them into a single funnel, single file consumption, tag and prioritize them, and then crystallize them into some kind of hierarchical concept structure that I'm building over time. So that that eventually helps you to think more clearly and to access ideas more rapidly. There's a few ways you can do that. They're very on top of their integrations, but here's two methods that I've been using myself. I can cover more on that later if you're interested. I love this company. I think they are deeply connected to the core philosophy of what they're trying to produce. And I've been speaking with 
Dan, the founder and the product manager, Erin, who really live the values of Readwise and they dog food the product as well. So they, they use it themselves in their own use case. So before I show you inside, remember you can get access with our invite link on any trial or discounted promo, whatever they're doing at the time. And I'll put the link in the description below. It's propane. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so this is Reader. And I wanna give you a quick overview of the web app and then we can go onto the mobile app. So broadly, this is your feed or the library and the whole thing is very keyboard friendly. So I can switch between things with the keys one, two, and three, and so on. This is basically everything. And then we have stuff which is RSS feeds that we've subscribed to, email lists, that kind of thing. That goes into a separate feed so it doesn't clutter up the things that you've imported. And then the other idea of the app is that it takes in articles, books, emails, PDFs, uh, bookmarked tweets, which is very cool. And then over time, they're planning to introduce podcasts, audiobooks, that kind of thing too. So let's show you some of the stuff about the reading experience. You can see as well these progress bars that because of Reader, I've been able to bash through so much more reading than I otherwise would have done. So it's really improved my output as well. So this is the reading experience. You can see these two sidebars and I can get rid of them by pressing this. And as I'm scrolling through here, I'm just using the up and down keys to move through. Now, what's particularly cool is, let's say I go to a book that I've been reading at the moment, very easily searchable as well. So I can go to, what's it called? I can't even remember the name. So Yuri Marmestein, Balancing the Equation. So as I'm scrolling through here, if I highlight this, Yuri's a great guy, by the way, did a podcast with him. This is his book about handstands and hand balancing. Um, you can see if I highlight something and then I go into my obsidian, I can just search balancing the equation, all the highlights sink straight into here. And I can see how that fits into the big picture with my knowledge graph. And what you can do over time is link to other notebooks and um, other highlights that you've made to create these kind of synaptic connections between different bits of reading and really concrete and solidify the, the learning and knowledge that you're getting. So let's go back to another one. I've got another great book that I'd recommend called Awake, It's Your Turn. This is by Angela DeLulo. And you can see I've got 294 highlights in this book. So there is a lot of stuff in here. And again, in Obsidian, I can just go straight to that. So I type Awake, It's Your Turn. And then here are the highlights. You can also see that the context is retained. So if I were to click on one of the highlights, it opens up the highlight in context where it is. You can also import documents, Twitter lists, feeds, random URLs. You can upload files into it and it's all contains it in that place. Finally, you can set tags and priorities. So if I want to set something that I'm particularly focused on reading at the moment, I can bump that to the top of the list. The other tool I've been using, and they've just launched this integration today, might suit you if you're more of a spatial thinker like me. So if I'm reading something here and I want to highlight this, I press H and then I go to Hepta and I can go to highlights in here and actually type writing, which is this. And then I can go and select that highlight that I've just made and then paste it into a card like that. Then if I want to link that to another card and create a spatial connection, I can do it like that. So let's go over to the mobile version. Okay, this is the mobile version, very similar in terms of structure, but there's one key difference. And I'm looking forward to this feature coming to desktop as well. And that is text to speech. Oh my God. So this turns any book or article into an audiobook, And the voices sound pretty natural as well or half the internet is bookmarks, just so we get the feeling of being on the cutting edge. Let's call this the collector's fallacy. I can adjust the speed as well. I quite like a comfortable 2x for most texts. Why fallacy? Because to know about something isn't the same as knowing something. Just knowing about a thing is less than superficial since knowing about is merely to be certain of its existence, nothing more. Ultimately, this fake knowledge is hindering us on our road to true excellence. There's also a male voice available if you prefer 
male dulcet tones. Until we merge the contents, the information, ideas, and thoughts of other people into our own knowledge, we haven't really learned a thing. We don't change ourselves if we don't learn, so merely filing things away doesn't lead us anywhere. So there we go, my friends. That is Readwise Reader. I guarantee it'll change the way that you capture information, that you read, that you integrate knowledge, and it'll hopefully replace about six other apps that you maybe use to achieve the same thing. So remember to use our invite link if you want to get access to this. We'll put the link in the description below. Any promotions or discounts or anything that they have available will be available through that link. All right, speak to you soon.